Good morning, ladies. Yay! I've managed to get on in the morning and not the afternoon. <laughs> I suppose I'm very good help and got me up and uh, put me breakfast, me porridge in bed. <laughs> so I'm up and alive this morning. So this is only a quick one. It's like, I don't know, a little tip. I wouldn't say it's a tutorial because you know how daft I am at that. But, you know, I had this uh, bag of... Um, I've been cutting out, I'm trying to make all my little stock uh, stash, stocking up on my stash and uh, so I cut out loads of paper butterflies as you can see, all different shapes and do da. So last night, to quite late, I was um, decorating some of them. So that's what these are here. But as I said, they're all made of paper. Some of them I layer up, you know, if I quite like um, a double layer uh, and a little gem in the middle and I put little gems on the antennae. I'll show you how I do that anyway on another thing. But that's not what this video is about. Um, it's about the cutting. So that's what I've been doing, okay? So, but I, I do like my foamerin flowers that I make, which I showed you yesterday. And one thing I've never done is foamerin um, butterflies. Now, with the flowers, all I do is cut them by hand. I've never, uh, you know, put them through the Gemini at all. Um, I just do them by hand and then, because it's very thin. And once you go through the Gemini, it makes it even thinner. And so it's like, it's worse than tissue paper. But I do like the feel and the lightness of, of Pomeran. So I've been messing around this morning. So I ruined a piece of um, Pomeran, a rubbish one. And, uh, and then I went on to slightly thicker ones. Now I've got this still there somewhere lurking about. I think it is somewhere in one of these bags. Oh, I don't know. What's in that one? No. I forgot to say. Anyway, it's like um, you can see it's like a um, an animal print on it, and they're just slightly thicker. Um, these didn't come out too bad, so if you want like a tortoiseshell effect, I thought I thought they were quite nice like that. There's one of the finer ones, but say even them because it was it wasn't a an ultra thin foamerone it was you know quite a normal size but even then they get squashed so they it makes them very very delicate so i thought well i've got to try and make them a bit firmer so what i've been doing is getting into my stash and using um like colors uh that i don't like oh i'm not getting much use out of um I've got some in the foamerin ones here, you know, like this turquoise blue. You know, I'm not I'm not very keen on um, solid colours all the time. I like to uh, dye my own. So what I've done here is, as you can see, so after a few mistakes, I just put two together. So, I mean, if you can see there how thin it goes, it's, not, it's, it's worth the tissue paper, you know, to do anything with. So, um, and plus you get like that electricity, don't you? And it like sticks to your fingers and everything. So I put a white, oh, uh, well, this yellow one at the bottom. And I put a white one at the top. And then, as you can see, it just makes it a little bit more manageable. Uh... But you've still got that lightness. But I will be able to get hold of it, I think, to, you know, put a little bit of glue or a gem here and there and what have you. So I didn't use any glue to stick them together. They've just stuck themselves together. So that would be the back, unless you particularly want a yellow butterfly like that. And that will be the front. So now I can, you know, just daub it a little bit with um, a dye most probably um, a pen because uh, it's quite delicate and um, 
and I can put a little gem on it or a little bit of glitter on and brighten them up a little bit. So that's my tip. Now they do get a bit stuck. You know, the bits, we all have that problem, don't we, whether it's paper or not. Now I did buy, um, is it Jim Holt's wire thing? Had a pokey tool on one side and there was like a wire brush, a roller one on the other side. I think it was about £10, but not much. Shh! Half his home, don't tell him the prices I pay for stuff. And uh, it lasted about, I don't know, twice in my hand. And then the bristles just come out. They just, it just sort of fell to pieces. And this is my old pokey tool, which is a an old screwdriver with quite a pointy end. And this is my go-to tool. I always use this one for poking out. But I needed something else. And I've brought this home from work. And it's just um, a little, looks like a toothbrush, uh, a wire brush. Uh, he uses for, you know, um, He's into survey machines and that, so he needs that to clean the knickknacks out. And uh, and this is absolutely brilliant. This is far, far better than and stronger. You need something strong in my hand, you know, to get the bits out. Look at that. Perfect. So I don't know. I don't didn't like Jim Holt's thing, but I like this one very much. And it just cleans them up good. So that's what I've come up to do, is just to, um, you know, just to tell you how, don't give up if you want to do foamer in, butterflies or delicate things. Um, they will cut, but sometimes you just have to put something else behind it. I mean, I dare say you could put paper behind it, but I think that will ruin the effect that it's a foamer in flower, won't it? But you could do, you could put a thin piece of paper behind it. And you still have that delicacy, wouldn't you? So I'm making a little pot of these. There. And then um, later, maybe, I'll get round to decorating some of them. It's a beautiful sunny day today. Absolutely lovely. I've got the window open. And um, that one has come apart a little bit. But you can always put a little bit of glue on there. But I think they're quite sweet. But if you did want a fun yellow one, you've got one. And if you want something a bit more, uh, I don't know, more fancy, you can use that side after you paint, you know, dyes it up. So that was a nice quickie from me. So I'm going to carry on doing these um, and use up some of my old scraps. I've got these as well, which I'll be put through. Maybe a bathroom. These are like children's ones. And they're solid. So maybe a piece of that behind the foam rim might help as well. Might be a bit strong enough. Now I think in the past I have tried to to do these. Now this is very cheap glitter um, in the works. I think this is one that well, it doesn't seem too bad actually. It's not coming off that much. Except when you see the back. Um, I don't know. It, they don't, it doesn't cut very well and it's not as bendable, do you know what I mean? Uh, it's okay, but I'm not I'm not chuffed with that for um, butterflies and things. So, oh, just turning behind me. So, <clears throat> the cat will be listening out for me. He <laughs> made us laugh this morning. His favourite word is, um, I have to whisper this, butter. Butter. Every morning when I have my marmite and toast, in a little egg cup, I put a little bit of butter and a little bit of marmite, and he shares it <laughs> marmite and butter for a cat. And all you have to do is shout butter quite loud, and he comes running. <laughs> it's his favourite word. <laughs> and I said to Harper this morning, "Where's the cat?" He said, "Oh, it's asleep in the in the kitchen." He said, "I put some butter in an egg cup." He said, "I don't think he'll come." So I just said it once, butter, Mr. Pitt. It's quite loud. And he happy said, I've never seen a cat move so fast. <laughs> he shot up the stairs like a streak of lightning just to get his butter. So we've got to be careful where we say it. And 
<laughs> you think she's going to get some. But they say animals don't understand, but they do. They really do, don't they? <laughs> so that's it, ladies. I'm going for a nice little drive this afternoon with Arthur. We've got some good news. And um, it's exciting. It would be exciting if I could go to a charity shop, which I've not been for months and months and months. But um, no, somewhere else. So... <laughs> So I'll leave you with that, ladies, and I'll talk to you again soon. So, you know, if you think pomerin's a bit too delicate to go through your machine, it just give it a backing with another piece of pomerin and um, oh, thin paper, they say. I'll have a bash for that. And then you've got beautiful, delicate butterflies, especially if you're doing them on a card when you're posting them. You know, you want as less weight off as possible. So, um, yeah, but they're fun to do and I like decorating them. So that's it for now, ladies. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all your comments. And um, I'll speak to you soon. I think that's it. Bye for now. Stay safe.